Hi everybody, hope we're all staying safe and well out there. Um, my name's Gary McLeod and I'm going to cover another first aid topic today. So the topic we're going to go over today is uh, wounds and bandaging. Okay, so I'm going to show you different type of wound and how to bandage it up and then I'm going to show you how to put a couple of slings on. Alright, so first of all here, um, my wife's going to demonstrate for me and she's got a cut to her forearm here. Now before I touch the cut, before I do anything, the first thing I want to do is I want to sit my wife down. So I want to sit a layer down. The reason I'm doing that today is because obviously if she starts to feel faint because she's losing a bit of a lot of blood, then she might pass out and hit the ground and fall. Okay, so I don't want to create that. So you want to sit them down or lay them down. Next thing you want to do is you want to protect yourself before you examine the wound. I'm going to put my gloves on here. So this is my protective barrier because I'm dealing with blood. Alright, so put my gloves on. When you've got your gloves on, you're now able to examine the wound. Now, how many look in the wound? Basically for a few things, okay? So you're looking to see one, what type of bleed it is, okay? Depending on how the blood's coming out of the body, depends on what type of bleed it is, okay? You can get a, a arterial blood, arterial bleeding, sorry, which is spurts out of the body, which is bright red. You can get your venous bleed, which is obviously your veins, and it oozes out, and it's a darker, kind of purple kind of colour. And then you've got your capillary bleed, which is obviously trickles out of the body, okay? So this is a nice capillary bleed. There's nothing in the wound, okay, so I don't need to bandage it differently. If there was something in the wound, I would leave it in and bandage round about it and over it, okay. I wouldn't put it on top, but I'd put it over it and pack it, alright. So, I'm going to look nothing there. What I would do is give it an antiseptic wipe or even some hot soapy water. Give it a nice wee clean, okay, so it's not going to stop bleeding. I need to get it up to the hospital to get it glued or stitched, okay. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to cover it up. Once I've cleaned it, cover it up. I'm going to use a medium sized dressing here guys, this is just a training dressing just now but in your first aid packs you'll get um, sterile undamaged and in date dressings okay so as soon as you rip that dressing open or that package you open that's ready for use okay so I'm going to open my bandage and you'll see that I've got the padding here so the padding is going to go over the wound okay so I'm going to get my wife to hold the, the wound and she's going to apply her own pressure now but get my wife to hold her own, her own bandage it allows me to free up my two hands and able for me to bandage it up. Now when I'm bandaging it up, you want to keep the pressure on and you want to cover all four corners. You keep the pressure on and you're just going to go round the bandage, keeping your feet tail out here guys. Okay, make sure you don't bandage that up. All the way to the top here. Bring your retail out and now you're ready to tie it. Now, because there's nothing in that wound, I'm able to tie this on top of the wound. Okay, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to keep the pressure on. Alright? So that's me tied at the top of the wound. I'll keep the pressure on because that's one of the key things that you can do to reduce the amount of blood coming out. Okay? So technically right now I've done two things to reduce the blood coming out. I've applied pressure and I've applied the breast. Last thing that you can do is you can do is elevate it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to elevate that wound. So now it's harder for my wife's heart to pump blood to that, that wound now because it's above her heart now. So it's hard, harder for her heart to pump blood up to that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in an elevated sling. So the way you put it in an elevated sling is you get a triangular bandage, one like this, okay? So it's got three points. Mm. With this point here, this is the one that always goes to the elbow. So I'm going to make a wee knot in it. It was actually a girl guide that showed me how to do this, which was quite clever of her. Okay, so I'm, I'm still learning as well. So there we are there, so there's my triangular bandage. And my knot goes to the elbow. I'm going to just droop it over. Keeping her thumb out. Okay. Nice. Down all the way under here. And I'm just going to move here out the way. I'm just going to tie it back and make sure when you're tying it guys you're not tying it top of the back of the spinal bone or anything like that or any bones. Okay, make it nice and tight so it's not going to fall out. Now, last thing I can check there guys is a thumb. Okay, now the reason I would keep my thumb out is so that um, I can check it for capillary refill to make sure that I haven't cut off the circulation going to the hand. Now if a thumb was to start to go like a different kind of colour, like a purpley kind of colour, blue kind of colour, it means that I've not done my job as a first aider. I've tied that far too tight and cut off the circulation going to your hand. Okay? So that's basically how you would put a, a, a wound 
um, press the wound up and how you would elevate it if you can elevate it. Okay, last thing I'm going to show you is now guys is just the last thing which is the support sling. Okay, so I'm just going to undo it. Okay. Now a support sling guys is ideal for if you've got a fracture or a broken bone or you've dislocated your, your elbow or anything like that, you can't move your arm in any way, okay? Or if you've got a sprain or a strain, okay? So again, this is just a support thing. It's nice and easy and it's often support so you don't have to hold yeah. it all the time when you go to the hospital, okay? So I'm just going to use my triangular bandage again. Here it is. This time instead I just strip it over my, my wife. I'm going to go under this time. So that's one over the shoulder. Get the old on. Okay. And this time I'm just going to bring it over this shoulder here. And again you're just going to tie it the back, making sure that you don't tie it in any bones or anything. Okay, so again this is just a support sign guys. It just offers support, okay, so now my wife's able to, to go to the hospital and just relax and nice and easy. Um, that sling there is just merely offering support so that she doesn't need to hold all the time so that if she's able to go to the hospital, she can be waiting for a couple of hours to get seen and she just wants to relax and take her time and take it nice and easy. Okay, so that's us done for today guys. Um, hope you've enjoyed my video so far and hope everybody stays well and stays safe. Thank you, see you later, bye bye.